Hey everybody. Yesterday I shared um, a little video about FAQs and I mentioned Query Hunter, this tool that I used. Um, so I wanted to give a bit of a walkthrough because I got some questions on it. So it is zero dollars. It's just Gumroad asks you to put in something, but he specifically says just put in zero dollars. Um, it was made by Fat Joe Davies, uh, who's really big in SEO Twitter. And honestly, it is the coolest plugin, 100% free. Um, it's a little bit weird to set up, I would say, but watch his video on it and then that's really helpful. So in my um, post here that I was talking about yesterday on Canadian souvenirs, um, here at the bottom beneath like, so first I have this weird thing for my, my theme, um, then I have Query Hunter above my Link Whisper. Basically all this is, uh, someone asked if it's like key search, it's not. This is your Google Search Console data just filtered for every single post. So it is at the bottom of every post, which is super helpful when you're doing content audits. Um, with like when you're doing content audits, you want to try and find new keywords, you want to find different opportunities to add to what's already ranking, maybe even adjust what's already ranking. And so to do that, one of the ways we do that is we go into um, Google Search Console and see our existing rankings and then adjust based on that. We can also see what queries we're ranking for or keywords that we're ranking for that we haven't included. But what I love about this plugin is it brings all of that data right into every single post. I was doing um, a content audit for a client of mine recently, and they are a destination site. I'm not. So for me, when I rank for something on like Spain, I have like two blog posts about Spain and the topics are so vastly different that I know which one is which. If you have a destination blog, that becomes much harder. And this really, really helps where this way I know exactly which post those keywords are ranking for. And cheeky little mention, but I updated this yesterday and you can see um, just since I did that update and re-indexed it last night, my rankings have gotten much, much, much better, which is amazing. That's how quickly this can work. So um, these are all the queries I rank for. You can see there's 862 that I rank for. You can filter them by how often you mention them in the content the number of clicks they get from Google, the number of impressions. I don't really care about click-through rate, to be honest. Um, when we're doing this, it doesn't, it's not relevant to our purposes here. And then position. You can even search for certain queries if you're looking for them. So if you wanna see what posts, or pardon me, what queries you rank number one for, there's always some irrelevant ones, to be honest. You've gotta like, like from Canada, that's, that's nothing. What is that? You can also search by impressions, which will be the highest number of monthly page views for that search. Um, to see maybe those are the ones you want to optimize for first. That's typically the best way to do it. Um, and here you can see like the relevant positions that are happening. If you filter by clicks, you will see what queries you are getting the best clicks from. I, for this one, Treats to Bring Back from Canada, literally added that one sentence in last night because it was not in my thing at all. And look at that. Overnight, I've gotten 251 clicks from it because I was not on the board for it. I was like on page five. Um, and I mentioned it one time in content. Now, this one's really cool too. You can have, you can search by no mentions in content. That means these are queries you are ranking for, but that you have not mentioned. Some of them are gonna be irrelevant. Some will be things that you've already said, maybe like, I don't know, what to bring from Canada. Uh, I think I had what to bring home from Canada. Google's smart enough to understand what I mean. Um, you can definitely try to add them in when you can, but this is great because you can find them all in one place. Then we have ones with low CTR. Those are things you might want to optimize for in a different way. It's not really what we're doing right now, but this is really good information to know um, that you're showing up in search for that and you're not really matching the intent. You can find ones on page two, which are ones that you can boost a little bit and get yourself onto page one. And then this is where we kind of were in yesterday. This is the section on uh, question keywords that you can add in for an FAQ. Now, this one is kind of complicated to upload Query Hunter. You have to like download it from uh, Gumroad, upload it to your site. There's some like complex stuff with Google um, that you have to like get an API key and stuff. Like I said, his walkthrough is really, really good. I also have a free one on my Instagram at Nina Clapperton. It's saved um, in a highlight on my profile where I walk you through exactly how to do it. Since I've done that though, they have um, done an upgrade on it. And let's go into Query Hunter. 
So when you set up the um, API key, just be, to be clear, no one else sees your data. This is all only in the back end of your website. Um, Query Hunter doesn't get this data. It's just in your site. Um, they've added this property type. So prefix or web property. It's I don't really understand the difference. I'll be honest, it's too technical for me. But when you first upload it, it might show an error regardless of like what you have here. The first thing to do is to clear your cache on your site. So like for me, it'd be stat cache. For most people, it's probably WP Rocket. Um, you clear that and then uh, try then check again. You also have to make sure you're checking posts that are already ranking on Google. So go back like a month into your posts when you're doing this test to like make sure it's working. Because the first couple posts, like I published one um, a day or two ago, I'm pretty sure it has like it's not ranking yet. Um, so it won't have any data yet to pull. If it's still not working, then whatever it says here, I don't know which one it defaults to, select the other one. So if it defaulted to prefix, prefix and it wasn't working, change it to web property instead, save changes, clear your cache, try again. So I've only had like one friend that like couldn't get it to work and she has like a system I do not understand. And she's like, she just tweeted at Fatcho Davies and he's uh, trying to help her set it up. But this is a really cool free plugin that I really, really enjoy. Um, it basically makes content audits so much easier because when I go into my posts, I can then get a sense of what I'm ranking for immediately. So here's one I published that was a guest post um, like two days ago, and it's a more difficult keyword. So I don't believe I'm ranking for anything yet. Perfect. Yeah. See, so here it says, sorry, no data found in all queries for this page. That's what will show if you're not ranking yet. If it's an error, it will say that you are missing permissions. It's like three sentences of text here. Um, so that's the difference. So if it just says this, it is working. It's just that this post isn't ranking yet, which is why we want to look at posts that are like at least a month old when you're doing your test. So that's been Query Hunter. Um, again, totally free plugin. Uh, you can either do joedavies.gumroad.com slash L slash Query Hunter, or just type in queryhunter.io and it'll redirect you here. Um, totally free. It's I don't I don't really understand why he doesn't charge for it because it's so good and so helpful. But yeah, it's really great. So definitely when you do your next content audit, make sure you have this.